in the tapestry of military aviation history, there are aircraft that not only shift the balance of power but also redefine it. The F-22 Raptor is one of these monumental achievements as the world's first, and many say best, fifth-generation fighter. It didn't just enter the arena, it created an entirely new era of air combat. Our story begins in the late 20th century when the world was caught in the grip of the Cold War. A chess game like never before was being played on the global scale, with Washington and Moscow as the grandmasters. Each move seemingly more daring than the last. In this era of the relentless arms race, a new piece emerged on the board stealth technology, a game changer in every sense of the word. The US was not just pushing the envelope, they were redesigning it. When the production F-22 Raptor was unveiled in 2005, it was a moment of awe. It was the embodiment of numerous cutting-edge technologies, a symbol of air superiority that the US Air Force had long sought. However, its operational history is a tale of paradox. A fighter built for combat, yet its true strength lies in its deterrent nature. It was a warrior that didn't need to unsheathe its sword to command respect. Today we will take a look at what makes the Raptor the best fighter in the sky, how its engines are even more powerful than the SR-71 Blackbirds, and why its replacement will raise the bar even higher. But first, today's video is brought to you by Star Trek Fleet Command. Remember, growing up and being fascinated with spaceflight, we've all dreamed of navigating the stars, and now you can take the role of a Star Trek Fleet Commander thanks to Star Trek Fleet Command. This game is an open-world odyssey from the Alpha to the Mega Quadrant. Every sector is a new story, a new adventure waiting to be written in the stars. These stunning graphics bring the Star Trek universe to life, and it's free to play. As a Starbase commander on the edge of civilized space, you can recruit iconic characters from the next generation, the original series, the J. Abrams films, Discovery, and more, including Kirk, Spock, Data, and Geordi. The great thing is, with crossplay, you can command your ship from anywhere, desktop or mobile, with a Scopely account. The new Wave Defense introduces a new way for players to socially interact, based on Wave Defense teams that transcend alliances. Players defend a central point from waves of increasingly powerful enemies. Collaboration is the key to success. There's also new officers Trip Tucker and Teol, along with 10 new Star Trek Enterprise-themed missions and 10 side missions. I really enjoy how you can step into the shoes of legends like Kirk, Spock, Command the Enterprise, or other starships, and engage with advanced tech right out of Starfleet's archives battle with players worldwide, join a community of explorers, and forge alliances across the galaxy. It's not just a game, it's a universe of stories, strategies, and friendships. And get ready for the Kelvin Timeline, a new story that takes Star Trek into uncharted dimensions. It's a fresh narrative for both die-hard fans and newcomers. So join me, commanders, in Star Trek Fleet Command. Install now, dive into this rich universe, and show your strategy skills. Use my special link or scan this QR code on the screen, and if you're a new player, use a promo code for some extra content, epic shards of Kirk, battle space pirates, explore the galaxy, and write your own Star Trek saga. You have the con, and the stars are calling. Getting back to the mighty stealth and speed of the Raptor, let's dissect what makes this fighter so powerful. First, there's stealth. The F-22 Raptor's stealth is not just about being invisible, it's about being inconspicuous. In a high-end theater where visibility means vulnerability, every line, every curve of the Raptor is meticulously designed to scatter radar waves. Its top coating, a specialized radar absorbent material, further cloaks it from prying electronic eyes. The result? A fighter jet with a radar signature as tiny as a marble. Then there's speed. Speed in aerial combat is not just about velocity, it's about the capability to react, engage, and just as importantly, disengage at will. The Raptor's twin engines are capable of propelling it to speeds over Mach 2, ensuring it can outrun and outmaneuver almost any adversary. This speed, combined with its stealth, makes it a ghost on the battlefield unseen and unheard until it's too late. Many of you know that the Raptor can supercruise or fly supersonic without afterburner, using only what's known as dry thrust or military power. What you may not realize is that each of the Raptor's engines that dry thrust produce an incredible amount of power, about 26,000 pounds of force. That's more thrust than each of the F-15's engines at full afterburner. When the Raptor does engage its afterburners, it's an amazing sight. And if you thought producing more dry thrust than an F-15 at full burner was impressive, the Raptor in afterburner puts out more power than the SR-71 at max afterburner. Now you start to get an idea of just how powerful the Raptor's engines are. And we haven't even mentioned the Raptor's thrust vectoring capabilities. 
Not only do you get a very fast and very efficient fighter, but you also get two-dimensional thrust vectoring, which allows the Raptor to perform some maneuvers that few aircraft can do. And yet it takes more than top speeds. Brains matter to fly, fight, and win in the world of fighter jets. Brains matter just as much as brawn. The Raptor's avionics suite is akin to a highly advanced nervous system. It fuses sensor data, radar signals, and environmental inputs to paint a comprehensive picture of the battlefield. For a pilot in the cockpit, this means unparalleled situational awareness, turning the Raptor into an extension of their senses. In many ways, the Raptor pioneered sensor fusion, so much so that for any fighter to be considered fifth generation, along with stealth, sensor fusion is one of the key ingredients. Now, you can fly fast, have all the situational awareness, but if you can't prosecute your targets, then you're not much of a fighter. Fortunately, the F-22's weapon systems are a study in precision and lethality. Concealed within the airframe are weapons bays which can house medium to long-range AIM-120 AMROMs and short-range heat-seeking AIM-9 Sidewinders. These missiles are known for their deadly accuracy and long reach. And of course, sometimes things break down and you need to resort to close combat methods. For this, the Raptor carries an internal cannon. The 20mm Vulcan cannon is a rapid-firing harbinger of destruction. When the Raptor chooses to reveal its claws, the outcome is devastating. Yet technology marches on, and even the mightiest of warriors must eventually pass the torch. Enter the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, fighter. The heir apparent to the Raptor's legacy, the NGAD, isn't just an upgrade.